self-supportation. I cannot remember the source, but I remember a podcaster quoting some research done by Dr. Paul Watzlawick. Dr. Watzlawick was from Austria and had studied suicide rates in Germany, both immediately after World War II and several decades later when Germany had fully rebuilt from the war. And the interesting thing he discovered was that suicide rates were lowest immediately after the war, increasing multifold when Germany was rebuilt and presumably in better shape. To most people, this doesn't make sense. Why would people be more depressed when they were obviously better off? But most people, especially young or poor people, are unfamiliar with the psychological consequences of wealth. Your average person thinks being wealthy will make them happy, when in fact it does not. Having wealth simply makes life easier, but it does not give you a reason to live. And that wealth is the byproduct of work completed in the past. It doesn't give you something to do or look forward to in the future. Even though you could very well be sitting on 400 million, your brain will perpetually ask yourself the question, Gee brain, what are we going to do tonight? This is why Germans immediately after World War II were happier in war-torn Germany compared to their better-off children decades later. They had a point and purpose every day, to rebuild Germany. But if you think Germans in the 1970s faced an existential crisis, what about people today? What about the people who live in first world economies where nearly everything is paid for and taken care of through stimulus checks, parental money, government housing, government loans, technology, and a welfare state? What do they have to look forward to in life? The answer is, tragically, nothing. Be you the neat who lives at your parents' house, collecting disability because you suffer from social anxiety disorder. Be you the fourth generation of welfare recipients in your family living in the barrio, the ghetto, or the trailer park. Or ironically, be you the spoiled suburbanite princess in Winnetka whose daddy paid for everything. None of these people have a reason to live. Because through good but naive intentions, we took away the one thing that gives all humans a reason to live. Self-supportation. And though it may not be sexy, supporting oneself does give every human a life today, regardless of their socio-economic status, an immediate built-in purpose in life. And given the appetizer we were all forced to eat previously, we know how vitally important it is to have purpose and reason in life, no matter how small or inglorious. But the tragic irony is that people shy away from the challenge of supporting oneself because it's hard. Furthermore, we grease the skids with government or familial support so that people choose passivity and dependence. And instead of finding purpose, reason, meaning, even pride in being a truly independent self-supporting adult, your average person will pursue a life of ease, thinking leisure and money will make them happy. And we know the consequences. The most miserable people alive today are passive people in the first world who are waiting for life to happen to them. Be that the incel jerking off to porn living in his parents' basement, the impoverished ghetto kid who thinks his shitty rap album on SoundCloud is going to make him millions, the indebted college student who prays for a bailout, the single mom who's hoping Prince Charming is just around the corner, or the millions of men who've escaped into the world of video games, they waste their lives on the drug of hope. And though admittedly their lives are a lot easier, they are without purpose and meaning, and thus why many of them contemplate eating a bullet instead of a burrito for breakfast. So do yourself the basic of favors. In addition to deciding that you will take agency and control over your life, also decide that you will support yourself. Yes, it is hard. Yes, it will require you set down the video games. And yes, you may have to give up some precious government checks. But what exactly are you giving up in exchange? Porn? Video games? Harlequin romance novels? Booze? The View? Having a reason to get up in the morning is more valuable than all of the above. And supporting oneself is a reason everyone can have in life. 